Duxiga boarding here, Malala, a Amano, Amano boarding and day school. From Amano boarding and day school, this is uh, Teacher Moses, and uh, welcome to yet another online lesson class for grade five uh, English. I do hope that you did your exams well last week and that you're continuing to take care of yourselves at home. Um, doing all that is required of you to keep yourself safe from uh, the pandemic, the COVID-19 virus. I just hope that uh, you're doing your best and helping uh, because as I shared with you last time that this is all, it's everybody's uh, work. It takes everyone to defeat this virus. So welcome back. Today we are going to have a lesson on uh, prepositions, prepositions of place and movement prepositions of place and movement so um there we have different types of prepositions like we uh, we have learned before we have prepositions of time prepositions of place and uh, uh, this is a preposition today we are going to dwell on prepositions of place and movement so just before we uh, continue we are going to have this listen to this Where's short the video Where is it? Where is it? In the box. In the box. Where's the bird? Where is it? Where is it? On the tree. On the tree. Where's the snake? Where is it? Where is it? Under the rock. Under the rock. On. In. And under. Yeah. Where's the apple? Where is it? Where is it? In the box. In the box. Where's the carrot? Where is it? Where is it? On the chair. On the chair. Where's the pumpkin? Where is it? Where is it? Under the bench. Under the bench. On. In. And under. Great. Where's the book? Where is it? Where is it? On the desk. On the desk. Where's the pencil? Where is it? Where is it? In the box. In the box. Where's the ruler? Where is it? Where is it? Under the chair. Under the chair. On. In. And under. See you next time. Thank you so much. And uh, I hope now you have an idea uh, what prepositions of time uh, place do. Uh, they actually, um, just before we continue, uh, prepositions. Uh, we have, uh, we have uh, different prepositions. Prepositions. What are prepositions first? We have uh, different types of prepositions. We have prepositions of time, prepositions, prepositions of time. We have prepositions of place, which is also called uh, place and movement, place and movement. And we have prepositions of uh, uh, prepositions of uh, time, place, and yes, uh, pre prepositions of time, prepositions of place, and uh, movement. Time, place, and movement. So uh, these ones are the ones that show us maybe like towards, the word towards or across. It shows, a word that shows that there is some kind of movement that is going on. Then a place, it shows the exact place, the exact place of, uh, because first of all, we need to learn what is a preposition uh, from the definitions. Uh, a preposition is a word. Where's the monkey? Mm -hmm. Where is it? Where is A uh, preposition. Uh, look at those words. Just look at the picture. Uh, between, in front of, behind, to the left of, under, below, on, next to, to the right of. So, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to 
correctly identify and use prepositions of movement and place in writing and in speaking. So what is a preposition? This is a word that is used to link nouns and pronouns or phrases to other words within a sentence. So they are used to link other words, uh, nouns, pro pronouns and other words within a sentence. They act to connect the people, objects and time and locations of a sentence so they're very important they link other words they link other words in a sentence and they also relate where the nouns and pronouns are in 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 terms of location so prepositions are always short words and they normally uh, placed directly in front of nouns in some cases you will find prepositions in front of gerund verbs so most of the times they are placed directly uh, in front of uh, just before the nouns they represent okay examples of prepositions so these are the prepositions we're going to learn about today uh, we're going to learn uh, mostly using pictures because they as i told you prepositions help to show uh, the location of a noun or a pronoun so these are uh, some examples inside under up towards down over between behind opposite next to so these are some of the examples of prepositions of place and movement so i'm going to use mostly pictures today because uh, as you can see um, we need to learn uh, using pictures because we are relating something a noun or a pronoun with the location or where the place where it is in terms of position and lo location so inside and outside look at that picture the baby is inside the box the baby is inside the box and we have the other picture here the basketball is outside the box up and down there are two pictures there are some pictures again so you, you can see the arrows shows up the stairs the boy is going up the stairs and the other one is going down the stairs so up is used uh, to show when a noun or a pronoun is uh, moving in the direction that is upwards you can see here the ball is going down the stairs and here the ball is going up the stairs so actually they are opposite words up down up down up down so we can climb up the mountain we can also climb down the mountain over and under over and under now when we are learning this look at this water uh, over and under so this is uh, th this is uh, like an ocean so this is water that is under then we have uh, some dry land above which is uh, uh, over but when we say when we talk talk about maybe something that is beyond over that is where we use above that is where we use above and when we want to talk about something that is below this under then we use below we use below look at the second picture above you see there is a tree there's a boy then there's a tree then the leaves are over his head and we have skies above so this the above is used to talk about father you know higher than being over and then uh, the roots maybe the roots could be under there could be the roots of these trees under 
Then if there is anything under the tree, the, the roots, maybe, uh, maybe let's talk about rocks down, down, then we can talk about below. So don't, uh, don't forget that. That is very important. Let's continue. The other word, uh, the other um, uh, prepositions is opposite and next to. Look at the cut in the box. We relate the, these two and they are, they are positions. So the cut is next to the box. So if I stand next to you, then the, if I stand next close to you, then that is close next to. Next to. Uh, that means close to. Like you can see the cut is next to the box. The cut is next to the box. Then we have two people here and the, there's a fire. They're sitting around the fire and they are both seated opposite each other. They are seated opposite each other. So when you talk about opposite is when you sit facing directly, uh, you, you face each other directly. Like the way these people are seated around the fire. Then we have in front of and behind. So the pictures, there's a box again. There's a box and a doll. So the doll is in front of the box while the second one is behind. So if this is my hand, then the pen is in front of the hand. And now it is behind my hand. Good. Let's move on. Towards and away. Towards is and away from. They are prepositions of movement. They show, uh, so they, they, they relate some kind of movement uh, in relation to the nouns and pronouns that are, uh, that we are talking about. Look at the boy. The boy is running towards the woman. Maybe it's the mother. The boy is running towards the woman while the boy is running away from the dog the boy is running away from the dog between between is a preposition of place that shows uh, in the middle of like the house the house is in the middle of the two trees the house is in the middle of the two trees the house is at the middle the house uh, is between the two trees the between sh uh, represents middle at the middle thank you so much for watching and i hope that you do you're having a good time at home until next time goodbye